Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome to another meal prep video. I wanted to get on here real quick because today's meal prep is going to be a little bit different in that I am only making our lunches. For breakfast this week, I'm probably just gonna be doing like cottage cheese bowls or uh, smoothie bowls, basically just yogurt and some fruit and maybe some nuts or something. Either cottage cheese or <laughs> or the yogurt, one or the other. Uh, so that's all I'm gonna be doing for breakfast this week. So there's really no prepping that I need to do with that. But for lunch, it has been chilly here in Florida. So a few weeks ago, I did the chicken, I think, what is it called? Taco chicken chili. And this time I'm just doing my regular hearty chili. I love this chili. The good thing with this, you can make it your own, put any spices in you want. I know one person had commented one time that she had tried it and she really needed to add some cumin. I'm not really a huge fan of cumin, so cumin, cumin, how do you pronounce that? I'm not a fan of that, so I don't usually add too much, but please feel free to make this your own. So that's what's on the menu this week for lunches. If you're new to my channel, I follow the Weight Watchers program, so I do share the Weight Watcher points, but I also try to give calories as well. As always, all the recipes I share will be linked down in the description box below, as well as some of the items that I use, such as my meal prep containers and things like that. I try to put links for those as well. Also, if you're new, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and be a part of the Planning Us Healthy family. So now let's jump in to this week's meal prep. I absolutely love this chili. We usually have it like maybe October. This year we just haven't had really a cold front come through until now. So I'm going to get all my vegetables chopped up. So usually I like to chop my vegetables by hand, but when I'm making chili, I do like the onions and peppers really really small so I use my little chef's rival it's called I'll show you the box but I don't even know if they have this anymore this is really old and my mother-in-law actually gifted this to me I've had it for a very long time it's actually falling apart but it's just a manual chopper so I'm just using that to chop up all my vegetables so for this recipe you need one large onion a green bell pepper a yellow bell pepper and an orange bell pepper but use whatever peppers you have on hand so I'm just setting them aside into this aluminum pan while I'm cooking my burger so I've got the onion and the orange pepper in here and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the yellow and green pepper This calls for three pounds of 96% lean ground beef for the points and calories on this. That lean ground beef can add up, so something I have done, especially when I cook in bulk like this, is just take any kind of ground beef. I cook the ground beef and I rinse it and basically call it 96% lean. So what I do is just take a bowl and I just drain as much of the grease out as I can. Then I put a big, a large bowl down in the bottom of my sink. You want to make sure you don't get any of that grease down your sink. So I just kind of use that to catch any of the grease water. I just rinse off the meat and then I just let that grease water harden and throw that away later. And I call it 96% lean. Now whether you're supposed to do that or not, that's just the way I do it. So as I always say, you do you. So I've taken my Instant Pot insert and I'm just going to use this to heat it. I'm going to put it on the slow cook function, but you can cook it on the stove however you want. So I put my meat in here. I added one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and three tablespoons of garlic. And I'm just going to mix that up and then I'm going to add everything to this. So now I'm going to use that same pan that I used the meat to cook the peppers. And I'm not going to add any oil. I just basically left what was in there for oil from the rinse in the meat. Now for this time I have chosen to cook my onions and peppers first. That's completely up to you, especially if you're using a slow cooker. You can just put them in there. I do like mine to be cooked more. Also, you could just cook them right in with the ground beef. If I was using the 96% lean ground beef, I would just cook them all together. But since I was rinsing the meat, I didn't want to lose the flavor of it. So that's why I'm cooking them separate. To that, I'm going to add my onions and peppers which just got done cooking and are still very hot. Mix those all up. Now, one thing to know about us, we like a lot of beans in our chili. So in here, I have four cans of beans. You can use whatever cans of beans you want. I use two cans of white cannellini beans, and then I use one can of 
dark kidney beans and one can of light kidney beans. And I drained and rinsed them this time. Sometimes I just pour them in there, but I decided this time I'm going to drain and rinse them. And also for my diced tomatoes, we like lots of kick in our chili. So I use the diced tomatoes with green chilies. I use three cans of these. I also add in 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes and also some tomato sauce, but the amount that I use, it just depends. I use it anywhere from a cup to a whole can. Now I'm adding three tablespoons of Worcestershire and my four tablespoons of chili powder. And then I also add hot sauce. If you don't like it that hot, you don't have to add that hot sauce. So now I'm going to slow kick this on low for four hours. Now if you like chili plain, you can certainly leave it plain. We like to chop up some green onion, put that on it, and also just a little bit of Mexican cheese and some sour cream. And when you stir in that sour cream, it makes the chili so creamy. And depending on the heat of it, sometimes we'll even add a little bit more hot sauce. So now I've got my meal prep containers. I'm going to use my little containers that I get from the Dollar Tree for the sour cream and the cheese and green onion. So I've got the sour cream in one and in the other one I'm putting about an eighth of a cup of reduced fat Mexican cheese in it and then I'm going to put just throw the green onions on top of that. So this usually makes about 18 servings. The number of servings you get is going to completely depend on how big your peppers are, how much tomato sauce you use, how much tomatoes you use, the size of your beans. I mean, everything factors into that. So I average about 18 servings. On my website, the serving size is one cup and it's 187 calories, 20 grams of protein, and two points. But I'm using one and a half cup servings because y'all know I'm trying to increase my protein and I shoot for about 30 grams of protein in each meal. So by doing one and a half cups, that'll bring the protein up to 30 grams and then it'll bring the calories to about 280 and the points will be three. And then of course, whatever toppings you use, you'll have to add that as well. So that's my award-winning hearty chili. And the reason I call it award-winning is because I actually won a chili cook-off contest and I won first place three years in a row. So since I make a huge batch of chili, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna freeze them in these super cubes. I love these. You can use these for soup, chili, whatever. They're silicone and they have marks in here for one cup, half a cup. So with chili, I always do one cup. So since we're having the chili for dinner tonight, and then we're having it for meal prep for three of the next five days, we are not gonna want it for dinner any other night. So anything that's left, I'm just gonna fill these and freeze it, and then we'll have it for another day. So usually what I do is I freeze these and then I take each individual portion out and put it in freezer bags, like just regular freezer bags, and then that way I can use these for something else. So like I said, just a quick meal prep this week. Let me know in the comments if you try this recipe and what you think of it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, put any comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.